Hi everybody, it's your girl Esther and welcome back to the Feltless Vlog. So yesterday the CW aired a brand new episode of The Flash and right after that they showed a promo for the Arrow and the Flash um, crossover episode which will be aired on December 1st of 2015. I don't know what the, the channel will be for you but for me it's a CW. I am such a huge fan of Marvel and DC. I have been watching Batman, Superman, um, The Green Arrow back when I was a, a, a young girl and I used to watch all these cartoon versions of all these shows and I was a huge fan and I love them. And I, I would just like remember seeing all of these different ca characters from back when I was little. I never really read the, the comic books, not because I don't like them, not it's just because I've never had time to read the comic books. So I have not gotten a chance to read the comic books, but I am still a huge fan of Marvel and DC. I don't care what type of show or movie it is, I'm a huge fan, and I don't care who the care who who the actor is who plays it. I will go into it with an open mind, and I will watch anything from Marvel and DC. Um, so on the the cross the promo of the crossover episode on that will air on December first. Um, they had the Arrow, they had John Diggle, they had um, Felicity Smoke, they had The Flash. They also had um, Cisco Ramon on their Flash's own powers as well. Um, a little spoil for those who don't know, and I am sorry if I did spoil it for you. And they also showed Hawkgirl and Hawkman. And I remember that actually from back when it was on Smallville. So Arrow and The Flash are actually having a cross, a spinover of their own show. So the characters from The Flash and the characters from the, the the Arrow will be coming in together to make another show that's called Legends of Tomorrow. Um, a little spoiler again for those of you who have not seen Arrow, um, it, the Canary is no longer dead, she's alive and she's no longer called the Black Canary. She's called, she's gonna be called the White Canary and that's Sarah Lance. Uh, she's a sister of Laura Lance um, and the daughter of Detective Lance. And so she's going to be on there. Firestorm is going to be on there. And there's so many characters that are going to be on there. But here's the one that really just like got me, got my heart stopping because I freaked out when I saw the, uh, the real promo for Legends of Tomorrow. Um, I probably like jumped the gun and didn't even tell you like well, the name of the crossover, the spin-off show of Flash and the Arrow is going to be called Legends of Tomorrow. So, um, now now back to what I was saying. When I saw the the real the the original the the promo for Legends of Tomorrow, my heart stopped. I was freaking out to the point where I'm like. Yes, it's him, it's him! And you could just like, you could even just say that I became um, like Chandler Bing when he's like just so excited and he has like no words to say, he just like does this, like you know what I'm trying to say? And the reason why I'm saying that uh, like this, and it's actually Arthur Darrell. Um, I'm probably like saying his name wrong just because I'm so overly excited right now, Arthur Darville and I, I love him. I watched him on Doctor Who and I loved him as Roy Williams Dash Pond and I loved him. He was an awesome character there. I loved him. I was so sad. It broke my heart um, when it was the episode of Angels in Manhattan and that broke my heart to know that we would no longer see um, Rory the Roman and that broke my heart and I loved him because he's like such a total sweetheart and I loved him and what he, what's even more is that he in the promo he says that he is the Time Master it's just awesome to know that he says Time Master when the Doctor is the Time Lord they both have time in it and the Lord and Master is pretty much like the same thing. So that just like freaked me out that Arthur Darvel, who's on Doctor Who, is playing a 
Time Master, and that just freaking... F I'm like, what? I just literally got so excited, so super duper 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 excited. You have no idea how excited I was. I was just like jumping up and down and going absolutely crazy to the point where my parents were like, how the heck did we grow this person up? Like, none of us do the, the, this sort of stuff. Like, what type of... This is our daughter, like, back to, um, the, 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 the Flash and the Air and the Legends of Tomorrow. Um, I think the only reason why I decided to make this video is because of what, that I saw the, the promo of it last night. And because I was just waiting so long for another little dose of Arthur Darrow. So freaking awesome. Um, I really do need to watch more of his stuff because he is. Pretty awesome. Even though I was a little disappointed to know that Arthur Darvel was not in that promo last night, I was super duper excited just to see Malcolm Merlin again. Not because he, he's evil or anything, just because I love John Barrowman. He's also another awesome actor, and he's also from Doctor Who. And now knowing that those two are from Doctor Who, but from different timelines, but they never really got a chance to meet up. But Maybe if somehow down the road in Legends of Tomorrow, maybe those two like can combine. And knowing a lot of fandoms out there, knowing a lot of fans out there, uh, if they ever see Malcolm Merlin and um, Rip Hunter together, Arthur Darvel and John Behrman together, know that there's a lot of people who are probably going to write a lot of fan fiction stories and theories. I think that a little bit down the road if they do decide to come out and put those two together there could be a whole, a whole lot of action, a whole lot of awesome stuff so yeah um, I think I, I'd be pretty super duper psyched. As I can't freaking talk right now. I, I'd be like super freaking psyched to know that John Barrowman and Arthur Darvel get together uh, in, in Legends of Tomorrow or in The Flash or The Arrow, just like any sort of time just to get those two together and that would be just freaking awesome because like I said, I'm a huge fan of those, I'm a huge fan of Marvel and DC um, and that I'm also a huge Doctor Who fan, I am a huge Whovian. D do not call me anything other than a Whovian because I am a Whovian. Do not call me a dweeb because I will come over there and I will personally smack you. I, I think that's pretty much it because um, I, I don't even know what this whole video is about. It's just like one random thing right after another. And uh, if you agree or disagree with anything or anything that I have said, please comment down below. Let me know. Also, uh, let me know what sort of other videos I should make next. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do make videos every Mondays and Wednesdays. So until next time, see ya.